Welcome back to Living Local. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. Sounds impressive, but how about more than 100 craft beers in cans and on tap? Well, Endless Brews has been serving beer lovers in downtown Davenport since 2016. After a year that crippled a lot of small businesses like themselves, they're ready to welcome big, mix crowds this weekend. And joining us here in studio is owner Gwendolyn Lee. Gwendolyn, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks so much for having me. So, first off, give us a little bit of ba uh, background about your business and and how you guys got how you got started. Uh, so, my husband and I opened the business together before we got married. So it was a great test to <laughs> being able to. <laughs> See if that would work. But yeah. we um, were both very passionate about craft beer, and uh, we wanted a place that was like a wine bar, but for craft beer. And it's especially important to have a place with no screens, so people can really sit down and connect and have conversations. So there wasn't anything like that in the area. So we started our beer baby in 2016, and have been pouring ever since. And still married. And still, yeah, <laughs> we made it. We made it. So for folks who don't know, where are you located? Uh, we're on Main Street at 310 Main Street between uh, me and Billy and also Sweet by Tiffany. So we have a great little block of, we call ourselves the Main Street Mafia, three women-owned businesses right there on Main Street. So. Oh, I love that. Three women. Oh, I didn't realize that <laughs> either. But gr what a great location, too. And, and great neighbors. And yeah, we just love being downtown. Um, so tell us about this block party that you have planned for this weekend. So we're, we're moving a little bit east right to the finish line this year for the Bix. Um, we're having a Bix bash uh, right at the finish line. We'll be do, we're pairing up with a few different businesses. Uh, Low Pies will be there. Smash Food Truck will be there. Oh So Sweet by Tiffany will be there. We'll also be uh, raffling off two bikes and the proceeds will go to King's Harvest, uh, the pet rescue, um, and also Artisan Grain Distillery, which is a uh, new up and coming distillery uh, right downtown is will be there as well. Have you have you done this before? No, no. It's going to be a trial by fire. So <laughs> well, if we if you see me walking next week, you'll know it was a success. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Now you mentioned a, a couple of businesses, yeah. right? You're, are you partner partnering with uh, with more? Um, so it's just going to be the six of us this year. Okay. But there are a few other events uh, dispersed throughout downtown w that will be their own little block parties. So we're very excited to get to this new format um, to do the block parties instead of the traditional street fest um, to so that downtown businesses can kind of you know collaborate uh, with each other and, and really promote each other for sure so why is this event important to you and for those fellow you know dad, your neighbors yeah. uh, fellow businesses it, it has been such a tough couple of years uh, you know between COVID and the flood and just it has been beyond complicated I think for everyone on well, personally professionally and to so just to have a reason to celebrate to get back out there and and to be able to uplift other businesses as well it's just been it's been a pretty tough go so we can't wait to just kind of let our hair down be out and Bix is just there's no better reason to celebrate than such an amazing you know long-running institution right for sure um, you know, and like you said, I think just a lot of people are just eager, you know, to get out. And for you guys, um, you've been open for a, a little bit, but what what's it mean, to, you know, to have those customers back? and to see those faces and maybe even regular faces, right? <laughs> it, it's been so touching. You know, we've gotten so many people reaching out to us and just, you know, coming back uh, after COVID and illnesses and just, you know, tragedies and, um, you know, to see everyone come back and just want to celebrate and so happy to see each other. It's just, it's such a community and yeah. um, it's been, it's been really, really beautiful. Now let's talk about some of those beers, though, that, oh, yeah. they, that you're going to have on tap for, for yeah. those runners, I guess, and for the, the fans. Uh, so we'll be working with a couple local breweries. So we'll have, you know, Bikini Bottom from Five Cities. That's always very popular. Um, it's a pineapple wheat beer. Uh, of course, Cherry Bomb Blonde from Front Street, you know, that's a local favorite as well. So we'll be doing some stuff from Big Grove up in Iowa City. So really just a lot of promotion of Iowa breweries and regional breweries. That's great. And you said in those partners too, mm -hmm. uh, who are joining you. Mm -hmm. So some, some, all these great beers. Mm -hmm. um, and cupcakes, I'm uh, guessing, <laughs> right? And pizza. Yeah, yeah. So, so even if you didn't run the Bix, you can eat like you ran the Bix, and you know, have a treat or two. So we're encouraging people to, you know, walk down, bike down, run down. Whether they're coming to support people who are running the Bix, or they're just, you know, looking for an excuse to, you know, have a little bit of celebration. We're there for you either way. 
for sure. And I think we're going to see some big crowds out there so. out there this year. I mean, folks are eager to get out and you know and start enjoying. Um, the company, I guess. Absolutely. Well, Gwendolyn, thank you so much for coming um, in and, and talking to us, and good luck with that uh, that big bash that you oh, have planned. Thank you so much. And for more information about the beers Endless Brews that they're serving up, go to endlessbrews.com, and we'll also have those details posted on our quadcities.com.